1995, I think, was the quartet's first year. So the transformation from young, wide-eyed, pretty much unaware uh, young quartet that Charles Woz was brought down to, well, hopefully we're still wide-eyed, but we're 20 years older almost, and it's been a subtle transition from Charles retiring to me sort of taking that baton, the Wadsworth baton, and, and taking over. So it was a pretty subtle transition because we had a couple of years where I was actually associate and helping Charles out with programs and talking, etc. But even before that, we became really close friends and, and toured a lot together apart from Spoleto. But it's been, uh, we went out to dinner with friends last night, the first night, and it's been a long build up of meeting great people that we've become really close to. We got married here in Charleston. 12 years ago now in Susie Ravenel's yard and, and they've become great friends. So it's just, it's an amazing melange of great music making, being lucky enough to take over from Charles with his help and then having all these great friends in Charleston through the years become really close. You're forever tied to the place now. It's, yeah, it's, it would be hard to imagine not coming every May to Charleston for Spoleto. Part of what makes chamber music such a for me at least such a special thing is getting to work with people you love as musicians and people more than anyone on the planet. I mean that's the great about being the director. Probably the best thing is getting to choose who comes. And so you want to balance, you know, you want to have some new people, but music is such a personal thing, especially being in a string quartet now for 20, almost 25 years. You get close with people both personally and musically and it makes for a much more, well, just a better experience all around for both audience and players. So most of the people here are not only close friends, but we've played many concerts with them through the years in various aspects. And then you get to meet new people through other people. So Elisa Weilerstein's a great friend. One year says, hey, I, I play with this pianist, Enon Barnaton. He's really great. You should bring him. And simply based on her recommendation, you bring him down. He turns out to be super fun and incredible. And you meet new friends that way. So. We have Jennifer Frouchy, who's married to Eric Rusk, and I've known her for years but never really worked with her that much, so to have her come down this year will be a, a new experience for Charleston audiences, and she's remarkable in, um, in so many ways. So it, it's sort of a, and then you have the old standbys, Todd and Tara and Danny, who we love, and we've played hundreds of concerts together, and there's, a, there's an ease which, which goes into making music, and it allows for some great music making, I think. Yeah, expand upon that a little bit. What does it, how how does it affect the actual music making? I'm assuming it's more relaxed and easier, and you're well, bantering about ideas, or maybe you yell at each other more well, freely. You, no, yeah, you have the you yell at each other more freely. But you know, you know, when you play with someone for the first time, there's always a getting to know you period. And if you're only dealing with three or four rehearsals for a piece, it's much easier to play with people you know and play music that everybody knows. You know, so I try to program in ways that people are not playing music that they're A, not comfortable with and not playing with people who they're not comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Too many. I've been to many summer festivals where you're sort of thrown together on pieces and with players who you don't really know or could click with and it can be pretty disastrous. <laughs> we should have a, we should make a DVD of some of our worst summer festival performances. But that... A blooper reel. Yeah, a blooper reel would be great. It just doesn't really happen here in, in Charleston just because we're you know, we're really careful about making sure we pick repertoire that people really want to play and playing with people you love. 